Hi there, dudes and divas. Sorry about the lighting. I try and do this from a different room, and uh, I just uh, want to touch base with everybody. It's uh, been a long week. I accidentally took uh, my night medicine twice uh, one night, and uh, it pretty much wiped me out for a couple of days. I'm not doing real well today, um, cognitively. Um, also, um, I want to talk about a little bit about MTHFR, and um, I can't scientifically explain it to you, but those of you that don't understand it, we don't absorb vitamins and particularly folic acid, um, so we have to take special folic acid and special B12s and special Ds and all those things. I am taking those. Uh, I have five, I'm taking five MTH FR folic acid. For those of you who know what it is, I'm taking the methylfolate B12, I think I said that right, and also um, taking uh, the D prescribed by my uh, naturopath. Anyway, um, so I'm doing all those things, um, and... I still seem to be getting worse cognitively. Um, I did go to my doctor the other day and was fully honest with him. Um, he is referring me to a neurologist, so um, I'm kind of worried about that a little bit, except um, hopefully they'll put me on some medicine to slow this down a little bit. Um, I have not heard back from the neurologist for an appointment yet um, and it's been a couple weeks but and sometimes it takes a while because they're pretty booked up in this area also noticing some hearing loss so I'm not sure if that has to do with uh, all my years of teaching band and being in band um, and playing drums or if it is part of what's going on is but uh, anyway I uh, guess I should have combed my hair before I got on here. I took a shower this morning, so it's laying there until I comb it. But uh, it's hard. It's hard, and raising three boys is getting a little bit more difficult. Um, it's hard to explain how I feel today. Uh, it's getting to the point where it's hard to think. Um, I do better in the evening, so I might get back on there. In the evening it is the morning, so good morning. And uh, I will get back with you later. Um, hopefully being a little bit more clear later on and getting a chance to do this without any interruption. Everybody's still sleeping, so I can do this without getting interrupted. I... Uh, just want to wish everybody out there a fabulous day, and we'll see you in a little bit. Well, I'm finally back. It's been a long day. I uh, went grocery shopping and had rehab today, and now it's the evening and it's bedtime. And uh, I uh, want to talk a little bit about the MTHFR. Um, Anyway, the mutation, like I said before, uh, keeps us from absorbing certain nutrients. And uh, my grandmother passed away what, with uh, what just appeared to be um, malnutrition. Um, she had Parkinson's, and they didn't know what she actually died from. It wasn't Parkinson's. Um, but now we know that the mutation uh, causes... Uh, malnutrition because you're not getting the vitamins and minerals out of the food that you normally would or the D out of the sun that you normally would. Um, it causes a lot of problems. Uh, one day I'll give a list, but um, my problem is it causes blood clotting and I have had several strokes and TIAs. Um, I can't even count the TIAs I've had. 
Um, I've had so many. I take a full aspirin also, a holistic um, blood thinner. Um, I know, notice little where it used to be big dips and valleys in my physical ability. Um, it's not quite so drastic right now. Um, I notice it more in the cognitive area. I was diagnosed with MTHFR in 2013. Of course, I've had it a lot longer than that. I was unable to um, to carry children, um, so my children are adopted. Um, but I, uh, because the first thing they give you is folic acid for the vitamins and uh, the prenatal vitamins are full of folic acid which means that the um, any embryos that uh, were growing um, died and uh, so um, sometimes infertility can be traced to that and it can be helped uh, if you find yourself in that situation with several um uh, uh, miscarriages um, get tested for this because um, they can work around it now um, once they know they have it and um, it's possible to carry full term now um, let's see I don't like to say um, but that's the way my brain works now anyway um, I had my thyroid storm in 2000 no, in 1995, and it was pretty bad. Uh, I My blood pressure was 253 over 220, and my pulse rate was pushing 300, um, and my body was thrashing violently. Um, <clears throat> anyway, now that we look back and, and can see hindsight 2020 uh, that was caused by the MTHFR also uh, the uh, cognitive problems I have um, are not only this well are caused by the strokes and the which is caused by the mutation the mutation uh, can cause the um, clots, the clots cause the brain damage. The brain damage is causing the um, early onset dementia. Um, but I was diagnosed in 2014 with mild cognitive impairment. So, uh, those are pretty close and I would say that I had the mild cognitive impairment in 2013 when it was I was diagnosed because I couldn't complete a sentence I was really having a difficult time at that point but a lot of that was from the stroke uh, but we were able to work through that with uh, speech therapy and I did hyperbaric chamber uh, treatments which helped a lot at the time. I'm thinking about going back and doing them again because I think that it's very helpful. Uh, one of the neurologists that I saw thought that um, it was hocus pocus, but he also uh, thought that when I had three vertebrae in my neck that were uh, had disintegrated or the disc between them had disintegrated and um, end up having to go in and put cadaver bones in a uh, not a plate but I forget they fused them together um, he was convinced that was MS and then when I went back to him here lately uh, he told me that he doubts that I ever needed the neck surgery and that it was MS um, I saw the MRIs myself and I know the difference in going I was pain and then no pain so um, I don't have a lot of faith in neurologists sorry for all you neurologists out there so I'm kind of nervous about going to see one but 
Um, I will. So far, they haven't called me to set up an appointment. But I imagine before long, uh, I'll go. I am anxious to get on some medicine to see if it will help slow this down, the progression, because I feel like it's speeding up. Um, the first part of this video is in the morning when I was more foggy and not so foggy right now in the evening. And so I'm kind of curious to see um, the difference or if there is a difference. Maybe there's not. Maybe it's I've just got myself fooled. But at any rate, um, I thank you all for coming in and come along this journey with me. And I appreciate all your support. And uh, bless you all. We'll see you later.